So today we're going to look at metrics, and we're going to look at how we would convert metric units from one unit to another, whether you're going from a higher unit to a lower unit or a lower unit to a higher unit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy a chart into our notebooks, and it's important that if you actually, if you miss this in class, that you refer to the table of contents for your class's notebook uh, that's listed in the classroom so that you're sure that your notes are being recorded on the proper page. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write uh, down these series of seven boxes. And I have them in an angle because it's going to represent the higher box is going to represent the higher unit where the lowest box is, is going to represent the lowest unit. So the first unit is going to be kilo. Kilo means 1,000. The second box or the second largest unit is hecto, which is 100, followed by deca, which is 10. If we think about decade, decade is a series of 10 years. Our basic units, now our basic units are meters, liters, and grams. Remember that meters is how we measure length, liters is how we measure volume, and grams is how we measure mass. These are the only units that we'll be using in this class. We will not be using inches, yards, gallons, etc. So we're going to be relying solely on the metric system for all of our measuring. We then follow with deci. Deci is one-tenth of a basic unit or, point zero, or 0 0.1, excuse me. Then we have centi, which is one one-hundredth of a basic unit or 0 0.01. And then we have milli, which is one one-thousandth of a basic unit, which is 0 0.001. So how exactly do we use the ladder method? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to determine where on the ladder do you need to start. Are we going to start on the kilo? Are we going to start on deca? So where are we going to look? So what we need to do is we need to look at the unit in which our starting um, number is. Then we have to look at well, where do we want to end? What's our ending unit? And then we count the number of jumps in between. Once we've determined how many jumps we've made, we then move the decimal from our original unit the same number of jumps in the same direction that we did on our ladder. So let's look at an example. So what we want to do first is we have our starting unit, which is 4 kilometers. So this is our starting unit, K meaning kilo, the M meaning meter. So this is kilometers. We have 4 kilometers. And we want to see how many meters, which is our ending point, is found in four kilometers. So the first thing we need to do is we need to look at how many jumps does it take to get from our starting point to our ending point. So we're going to start with kilo, we're going to jump one to hecto, jump two to deca, jump three to basic unit. Now remember where ending point is our basic unit because it's simple um, meters. There's no prefix attached to that. So we have one, two, three jumps to our basic unit and our direction of jumps is off to the right if you're facing the screen. So then what we do is we take our starting number which is four with any whole number the decimal is directly after that number and we move the number of jumps. One jump two jumps, three jumps. So I've moved the decimal over one, two, three spaces. Once I've moved the spaces, I fill in all of the spaces with zeros, which gives me a new number of 4,000. So my starting number was four. I moved one, two, three jumps from kilo to my basic unit. I took my starting number and moved that decimal over one, two, three units to the right, just like I did on my ladder. I fill in my spaces with zeros, and my ending point is now 4,000 meters.